Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today we'll be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza Place in Chicago, Illinois. This area is quite interesting with three locations in total and one store having, or used to have, the most infamous Chuck E. Cheese stage. Thanks to my friend and Black Noir Ninja Knight for requesting Kedzie. Anyways, let's get into the video. This first Chicago location opened as a pizza time theater sometime in 1983 with a balcony stage. There is not much information or photos of this location as it only lasted for three years closing in 1986. An article from March 1986 gives some information such as the location having the king and also the beach bowsers. This location is written as very chaotic, although that might be just for the sake of the article. Due to the March 1986 release, we can conclude that the store closed between mid and late 1986. They would also close around the same time as the Hoffman Estates location, so it may have been owned by the same franchisee. This store would eventually become a Caesarland and then a Planet Fitness. Article about Springfield's recent legacy treatment mentions that the store would have the Beagles, Dolly Dimples, and the King, but this is most likely not true. This location also may have received the 1986 remodel, but there is again, no photos or videos of the store that I could find at least, so. The location on Kedzie Avenue opened as a showbiz pizza place on November 1st, 1984. This location opened to the south side of Chicago next to a Kmart. They would allegedly open with Farmington Hills, Michigan's Rock of Fire, although I could not find any proof of this. I also couldn't find much documentation of this store between the 80s and the 90s. They would receive the 1986 remodel, which consisted of repainting the walls, adding the colored checkers, replacing decor, and receiving the wainscoting. They would also receive a new exterior with the Chuck E. Cheese pizza logo or the new Shoba's pizza logo. They would also receive new signage on the back of the store and also the side of the store. Interestingly, they would keep this signage all the way up until the Cool Chuck remodel. Starting in 1990, the product of a fallout between Creative Engineering and Showbiz Pizza Time occurred, known as Concept Unification. The remodel prior may have come with this change, where they would convert the Rock of Fire Explosion to Munch's Make Believe Band, which occurred between late 1992 and early 1993, although this could be incorrect as the article I got this information from lists the store's opening as 1982. In the 90s, most likely in 1995, they would receive Operation Thumbchuck, also commonly known as the Major 90s Remodel or Phase 3, where they would receive a Thumbchuck exterior, replace the older decor with newer decor, remove the checkers, receive new games and rides, a new kids area, and also the sky tubes. There are two photos from an unknown date that show their newly remodeled exterior. The sign is very unique, it kind of looks like an awning and the logo match together. The other photo is more close up, where you can see the entrance. You can see the unique checkers, which they may have installed during Operation Thumbchuck or during the 1986 remodel. One note, I forgot the weird awning signs like Kedzie's weren't too rare. Here's a photo of Matson, Illinois' awning sign, and here's another photo of Whitehall, Pennsylvania's awning sign. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence, but they are all also former Showbiz Pizza locations. Here's a photo of the showroom. You can see the record posters, drive-in and theater artwork, and the restroom sign. A photo from an unknown date shows their Avenger outfit. You can only see Matt Chuck more in a few record posters, unfortunately. A photo of the three-stage Chuck shows that he's wearing the full Cool Chuck outfit, and of course, a plastic mask. Another photo shows Helen and some of Munch. A photo in the showroom shows Pasquale's stage. The salad bar is next to the stage for some reason, but it is Kedzie still because of the weird squished awning. That also means they would move the salad bar counter, most likely during the Cool Chuck remodel. This store would receive the Cool Chuck remodel in mid-2010. Of course, during this process, they would add new artwork, remove the showroom walls, and receive new games and rides. They would remodel the exterior, but they would keep the checkers. An aerial shot from Google Earth shows the sign awning, while in the August capture it is not visible. A street view photo shows the garage or back door open. There is one video of the stage in July 2012. The stage seems to be in relatively good condition, with Helen and Jasper seeming nearly perfect. Chuck is wearing his Avenger outfit, but retained his Cool Chuck cap. They would eventually replace Pasquale's jump front, as well as remove the entire TV on Chuck's stage. Before November 2020, they would also remove building, but they would keep Moon. In November 2020, the three-stage bots would be replaced, copying Darian's reconfiguration. They would receive an animatronic from the Studio C in Lafayette, Indiana, that closed in late October, 
as well as a Studio C2000 backdrop. As shown in multiple videos, they would remove the backdrops and receive the circles of lights and repainted walls later on, unlike Darien, which would receive West Des Moines curtains. They would eventually remodel, removing the stage on August 26th. They would of course remodel the exterior, which means they would remove the checkers on the entrance. This would also mean that the stage is extinct, with only one three-stage left in a store. The 1830 West Fullerton Avenue location opened as a Chuck E. Cheese Pizza with a one stage on September 26, 1993. They would open with decor from the same time, such as artifact shelves, confetti posters, and record posters. A photo from the 90s shows the Chuck confetti poster as well as the salad bar. Footage from 1994 shows the one stage and the showroom. It seems to be in pretty good condition as the store only opened one year before. The same footage shows the Chuck costume, which seems pretty rare, as well as the Cyberamix tuxedo outfit. You can also see the artifact shelves and all of the record posters. They would also receive Operation Thump Chuck from around the same time, where they would remodel the exterior, receive more artwork, add new games and rides, etc. A photo from December 2007, before the Cool Chuck remodel, shows the newly remodeled exterior. They would remodel most likely in 2009, replacing the artwork, removing decor, removing the showroom walls, receiving new games and rides, and remodeling the exterior. The store would also expand towards the right. Another stage photo shows this and the Chuck walk around. The Chuck costume is also wearing a different outfit, and he is wearing the Avenger cap as well. An early 2000s photo shows the entire stage, where you can see Pasquale has no jump from. Another photo from the 2000s shows that the TV behind Munch would eventually be removed. A photo from January 2008 shows the Avenger Chuck outfit, but he is wearing Pasquale's shoes for some reason. Footage from May 2009 shows the stage and the Chuck costume. Munch has no teeth in this footage. Despite this, the stage still seems to be in good condition. A video from June 2009 gives probably the best footage of the one stage during this time. The stage doesn't seem too bad. Only a few movements are out, and somehow Jasper's eyes are pointed downwards. A photo from August 2011 shows the Chuck animatronic with his Avenger outfit. Another photo from 2011 shows the Avenger Chuck, but his head looks a bit different from usual. His cap is also pointed upwards. This store would receive lots of cyberamic parts from other stages nearby. They would apparently receive the Chuck mask from Streamwood, Illinois. Chuck would lose his cap by late 2014. The store would only receive a few minor changes up until the remodel. In 2020, they would receive more parts from Skokie, Illinois. They would also replace the seating with Skokie's benches. Before 2.0, they would remove Munch's cap. They would start the remodel in August of 2022. Parts of the stage would be sent to Tinley Park, Illinois and Milwaukee, Wisconsin stages. A video from During 2.0 shows the stage behind the curtains. A lot of the backdrops are still up and some of the props are on the floor. You can also see some lights and Chuck's foot. They would finish remodeling around the same time. They would receive a unique mural as a part of the remodel. Only a few other stores would receive one. One thing I forgot to mention is that in 2002, Phase 4, which consisted of new games and entertainment, was tested in the Chicago area. It was tested in Kedzie, Darien, and Fullerton. Overall, this area is quite interesting. It has the first showbiz I've gone over, and I've also visited Kedzie. Thanks for watching if you even got to this part. Please subscribe, and thanks for 1000 subscribers.